What's going on? Trentino here. Uh, I'm going to do a quick video today about how I download and organize my music for DJing. Um, I haven't really seen a lot of videos about this, and I get a lot of questions about how I organize my crates, how I set cue points, and where I get my music from. So usually my first stop will be uh, Billboard Hot 100. Um, I want to make sure I have everything in the top 10. I usually don't worry about anything past that because uh, it's usually more effective to play an older song that's bigger than the newest thing that is not the biggest song right now. Um, and I will say, I try not to spend a ton of time downloading and going through new music because usually the most effective songs even today are not the newest songs. It's usually uh, lately a lot of early 2000s stuff still some songs from the 90s will go off harder than uh, any of the new stuff. So I spend as little time as I can going through uh, new music, but um, I do like to stay up to date with at least uh, the top songs. So I think the Billboard Top 10 is a good place to start. I haven't gone through new music in several months now, obviously, since I haven't been DJing uh since the shutdown so i may be a little behind on some of this stuff but um we're gonna get caught up today so let's see number one rock star i don't believe i have this song um we're gonna go to my favorite uh record pool which is club killers and uh we'll see what versions they have so rock star All right, so I'm, I want to make sure I have the original, the that is a playable version. Here we go. We have the clean, dirty, and with the intro, I'm going to download all of those. Uh, let's check this intro out. Uh, let's hear. Okay. That's kind of cool. Um, I'll grab it. Um, this is some kind of short edit. Probably don't need that. I usually don't mess with short edits because it's sort of dangerous if you get distracted talking to someone or something. You can easily run out. Uh, plus, I always have cue points, so if I need to go back to an instrumental section, go back to the intro, or skip to the outro, or whatever, I just do that with cue points. I don't really worry about short edits. All right, let's see next. What's popping? Let's see what they have for that. Uh, Okay, there's a Justin Bieber remix. I guess we'll grab that. Um, these, these are all short edits. Um, hype, let's check it out. And, and oh, there we go. And the regular version. All right, next, pop star. I don't have any of these actually, because it's been a while since I've gone through new music. Wow, we have number one is rock star. Number three is called pop star, very original. Oh, they don't even have it yet. Um, if Club Killers doesn't have it, I will check out promo only. Um, 
I've been on promo only a long time. Uh, I believe I first got on there through the radio. You guys don't know, I used to be a weekly mix show DJ on Kiss FM in Chicago and then B96. It's been a while since I've done that though. I think I left radio back in 2014. All right, yeah, and here we go, they have it. So let's, um, all right, regular version, clean version, intro edit, clean, okay. All right, I think that's gonna be it for that one. Blinding Lights. I know that song. I don't have it though. I don't think. Okay, let me double check. Uh, oh, I did download it. So I think. Oh, never mind. Won't worry about that one for now. Roses, St. John. James Height, that's the homie. Let's check it out. Usually don't bother with too many remixes just because that's not really allowed in the clubs anymore. Um, I do like some of the edits, some of the acapella ins and outs and, and things like that. Um, they tend to make DJing a little more interesting for me, even if the uh, crowd doesn't really care. Um, but, you know, I love playing remixes. I think everyone knows I love dance music. I love high energy electronic music, but uh, right now, at least in the US, that's not really what's happening. Uh, it's not really allowed in the clubs anymore. It's not what the crowd wants. It's not what the clubs want. So I try to stick to the original versions more these days, especially when it comes to new music. Sometimes when it's older stuff, uh, remixes can kind of help spice it up, help bring it, you know, sonically uh, in line with the newer stuff. But new music, you at least uh, try to play the originals at least for a little while. All right, let's see what we got here. Base house, probably don't need that. A lot of remixes here. All right, here's the original with some intros. So that's a different song, okay. Let's just see what these sound like. are cool I just don't know how useful they are for me personally this is cool maybe I'll grab this just for my purposes I don't really need the, the cut down versions just the regular ones are good Oh, and then there's there's one with future. I guess I'm guessing this is what people are probably playing. So I'll grab that. Alex Streams VIP Mash. Let's see what that sounds like.
that's cool. I like that. Uh, I like that drop, but you know, that's not really something I can get away with playing at the moment. I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, little slam edit. Let's let's see what this sounds like. Yeah, 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 bro. I will be in the corner with the bodies. That might be useful as a transition if I'm coming from a different tempo and I need to just slam something in. Uh, I prefer to use things like that rather than the transition edits. I have a lot more freedom, plus something like that. I can always do a little scratch solo with it. Um, makes it a little more exciting, a little easier. You don't have to worry about finding a transition track that goes from a certain tempo to another tempo. You just drop in where you need it. Uh, there's a Latino remix. I'm not going to worry about that. All right, that should be good. We got way more music than I was expecting. Savage, I think I got it. Uh, let's see what this Harry Styles thing is about. Don't even have it. All right, let's check pool. All right, Q remix. I'm going to grab that just because I love Q so much. Q is one of the most prolific and most consistent remixers that I know of. Uh, and we get the regular version. I don't even know this what this sounds like. But this might be a valid for all I know, but grab it. Uh, intro edit, sure. Um, okay, that should be good for that one. Grease, Paladin Drake. Sweet. We don't have it. All right, that's cool. Grease, all right. Clean single edit, regular version. Uh, grab these intros in case. Okay, that should be good. Come and go, Juice World and Marshmallow. I saw that on the charts. Uh, I thought that's sort of an interesting collab, but I guess these days anything, anything goes. Um, it's called Come and Go. Then I'll have it. There's another one with Juice World and Marshmallow. Apparently, interesting. Okay, here's Come and Go. Clean and dirty. Grab it. Joy Club remix. Let's hear it just for fun. <laughs> It, but I don't know if it's really that useful for me. Uh, all right, go crazy. Let's see what we got. Re 
Redrawn. I'm allergic to redrawns. There's a few that work, but generally I, I steer clear. Uh, I don't know why, I don't know where the original version is. AZ. Go. Uh, get the explicit. Clean. Intro, clean and explicit. I never had clean versions until pretty recently. Never really had a use for them, but uh, here in Vegas. Um, a lot of the pools, a lot of daytime parties, uh, um, and some of the casino gigs are actually all clean. So I've had to build up my clean library, which is uh, still lagging far behind my regular explicit library, but I'm working on it all the time. Okay, that's good. That's number 10. So now when you get past 10, I've never even heard of any of these. I don't know who Lil Mosey is. I don't know who Josh685 is. Uh, you know, if these end up moving up at some point, uh, I'll worry about them. But for now, that's probably plenty. I think we have plenty to go through now. All right. I keep all my music in a folder on my desktop. SSL. Uh, that's what I used to use. Uh, for those that don't know, I've been using Rekordbox, uh, mainly with flash drives for almost five years now. Um, and then I just make uh, make folders based on dates. So yeah, the last one was in May. Um, I will start a new folder just to split things up a bit. Data 27, 28. Downloads, we have all the Club Killer stuff. Uh, we need to unzip all these. how they have things on the Court Killers website. And then we'll put all these in there. And then under desktop, this is where we have all the all the stuff from promo only. Oh, where'd it go? Missing some stuff. Oh, these got put. Hmm. No. Just undo. all the files here. Let's see. Okay. So where did they go? Did they go in here? All right. There we go. And with all these zips. And then in the 
desktop. Promo only. All right. So now I got this folder. Open up record box. Now we can just drag this whole thing in. It'll start analyzing. A lot of guys seem a little intimidated by record box. It's all basically the same stuff as Serato. There's a couple things you gotta learn just where they are, certain uh, peculiarities, but uh, yeah, I organized my stuff basically the same as I always did. Um, I know a lot of people are afraid of record box because they're they think they're gonna have to do a ton more prep, um, but. I always did a lot of prep, even when I was using Serato. I think a lot of people maybe just throw files on their computer, or just throw them into Serato, and then they're organizing on the gig. Obviously, if you're doing that, you're you're holding yourself back uh, when you should be performing, um, not doing computer work during your gig. So I encourage everyone to do as much prep to their tracks as possible before going out and playing with them. Um, another note, um, in a similar vein, uh, when I transferred over to Recordbox, I did cut down my library quite a bit. You can see my full collection right now is about 40, almost 4,400 tracks now. Uh, those are not all in crates. If they're not on crates, they don't go onto my flash drive. So my, my actual library is a little bit smaller than that. Even that is getting a little bit unwieldy. Um, really, most people don't need any more than two or three thousand tracks. Uh, that's a lot of music. Even if you're playing, you know, a five-hour gig and you mix really, really fast, there's no way you're going through more than about 250 tracks a night. So, what you need to ask yourself is how many completely unique five-hour sets do you need? Do you need, you know, 10,000 songs? Probably not. Um, and the less you have in your library, the easier it is. The easier it is to make decisions, the easier it is to find the correct versions. Um, obviously, a lot of people just have crazy amounts of duplicates that have 20 remixes for the same track. Obviously, you don't need all that. Um, I highly recommend keeping your library as lean as possible whether you're playing on flash drives or with your laptop or whatever. Uh, all right, still waiting for these. This is taking a long time. That's actually way more tracks than I wanted. We're gonna be cutting this down a lot. Uh, let's see. So I'll just search. So we pull up all the versions of this, what's popping and see what we got. All right, intro, oh, this doesn't finish analyzing. Let's check this out. All right, I can already see the, the grid's off. Just set the grid to the one. There's first first key point. Um, I have quantize on when I'm setting cue points. It makes things so much faster. Uh, I like to have things exact. Um, you know, in Serato, it's used, used to doing a lot of zooming in and moving the moving the thing around to try to get it exact. This is way easier. There it is, it's on. I was wrong, that is not the one. The one is here. Let me just, whoops, set one there. So that's the one. That's why that was there. Well, that's pretty annoying because uh, this is, this track does not start on the one. All right, we'll see if I even keep that. Here we go, intro. This is what I'm talking about with the cue points. We just skip to bar nine. 
And that's so usually depending on the tempo, I set tracks, uh, uh, set cue points in the intro every four or eight bars. This one is at, uh, there we go, uh, 145. So every eight bars. So it'd be one, oops, one and, and the nine. And that's probably it that, that I need for that. Trying to play too much of these so I don't get the video taken down. Uh, one problem is on certain older CDJs, you won't actually see the artist name. So I'll usually put that in the titles as well. Oh yeah, let's see if this remakes. I probably won't keep all these. I'll probably just keep the remix if that's what people are playing. Uh, well, it starts the same. All right, we'll probably just keep this Bieber version. Where is he? Weird. All right, let's hear what these are like. I had that one. Yeah, we don't need that much of that vocal. We already heard it. Uh, all right, I'm just going to get rid of those. I'm going to delete the files so they're not taking up space. Usually just search, pop in the smash. And yeah. Let's get rid of those. Delete them from here. Okay, probably just keep this remix. I'll probably just keep the intro versions of the remix, though. So. Delete everything else. Remix, intro versions. slow today all right there we go all right make sure this is good all right one and oops that's a little bit off but that's close enough Artist name. Oh, another note about the tempos. Um, I try to keep everything between 80 or so up to 160. I don't, uh, even if it's slow like this, I don't mark it as a half tempo because it's just easier to have everything um, in one range. That way, if I'm going, say, from a a slow hip hop track at, at 64 to a house track at 128. Uh, I don't have to do any math in my head. Everything comes up in the same place. Um, way, way, way easier. Uh, so I, I just do, I do it like that. So at this tempo, I have it at the double speed. All right, so here's my crates. So my main hip hop crates, I have 
basically current between classics. So current is like maybe last 10 years or so between is like 2000s, maybe some late 90s and classic is older stuff. So this, that's pretty much all I need for hip hop um, and then clean versions of all those. Um, obviously, I'll only touch the, the classic in between stuff if I'm opening up somewhere or if I'm playing a long set. Um, and then I also have these these mega crates, which is like uh, these include remixes and, and everything else. So if I have a remix that I like to play, it'll be in here. Um, that's, of course, only if I'm at a place where I can get away with that sort of thing. But lately, it's been a lot of just the original versions. So. All right, so we will throw this. So all right, dirty version goes in the mega crate and it'll go in the current hip hop only. This one needs cue points. That's a little bit off, that's weird. It might be something to do with the edit. And then this will be in clean current. All right, next is juice world thing. Come and go. We only got the one version of this. Let's see what it's like. That's actually not bad as an intro. I can I can work with that. I can blend that. Copy the names. Actually, let's just hear what this sounds like. That's cool. I don't know if you can actually play that at a hip hop club, but all right. Come and go. This will be the dirty version there and the clean. We'll throw it in there. Current. Okay. Quick note on the rest of my crates, uh, most of these never get used. Um, used to play out of this crate a lot. This was all the uh, sort of housey, electro, progressive house sort of remixes of top 40 songs. Um, once in a while, I'll get to dip into here still, but uh, at least in the US, this is all kind of in the past. When I go to Asia, they're still on the EDM stuff there, you know, they're uh, not not in a bad way, but they tend to be a few years behind, um, you know, whatever's going on in the U.S. Last time I was in Asia, um, I did a month-long tour in the fall. Um, a lot of the clubs wanted hip-hop, but the crowd wasn't ready for it, so I ended up playing a, mostly a lot of EDM out there, which is super fun and a nice change of pace from the gigs in the US. But anyway, I used to use that a lot. This is like house remixes of rap songs that a lot of them will transition down and then back up. So then when I'm playing more housey stuff and I need to just break it up with some hip hop, I have a crate of all that kind of stuff. And then there's like all, all my house crates for like when I'm playing more underground stuff, uh, electros, the, the hard stuff. This is sort of like four levels of house in between is a little bit less than this is more like the, the more bassy, like deeper stuff. And then there's the real deep stuff. Although my deep crate is still probably not even that deep compared to uh, the real deep, deep house guys. Um, if it's just, 
super super boring um i i don't really even bother with this but some of this stuff you know i, I love jack beats they're one of my favorite groups of all time they make some cool stuff something like that is pretty deep for me but it's still still interesting or the, this track's great too Yeah. So anyway, those don't get much use these days. All right, back to our new music. Grease, let's see. All right, let's see if we even need the intro. Yeah, oh. Use the intro for that one, probably. Delete the rest. Okay. Oh, grid is off. So grid, Actually, anytime it's a weird number like that in the BPM, I got to question it. So let's see what's going on here. Looks pretty on there. Still on? Oh, it's on. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but all right. Every four bars. <clears throat> All right, clean. Current. Hip hop. Explicit, current, and explicit in the big crate. Rockstar, we got a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, let's let's see what these all sound like. That's cool. What, what's the original sound like? Yeah, I guess that's a little more exciting. Um, do we need the intro though? Let me see what this is. That's cool, I'll keep that. So I'll just use these just use these slam versions. Yeah. So go at the end in case I need to beat. Mm. 
not the cleanest it's got that word on it, but it's not a big deal. Alright. one. Alright. 30. Parent. Three. Here we go. Alright. Alright. I think I'm going to cut it. I'm going to stop this video right here. This is getting kind of long. I think you guys got the gist. You got to do my cue points. You've seen some of my crates. Um, where I get my music from. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I'm always available. I'm also offering private online lessons in music production and DJing or whatever else you think that I might be able to teach you. Um, so get at me. I'm, I'm not hard to find. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.